the child of God wherever you are. Uh, this is Pastor Murwabi. And uh, this hour, I want to explain it to you. One of the most important graces of God that enables God to relate very well with man. How does God relate with us? On what basis? The Bible, which is the ultimate source of all that we need, explains that God is only pleased with man on the basis of faith. That is in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, where it says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Now, this faith that enables God to be pleased by a man is what I want to explain today. Because the same Bible says in Romans chapter 1 and verse 17 that the just shall live by faith. So it is this same faith that ensures that the just keep on living. That means anybody that is righteous or just cannot be able to live or survive outside of faith. But this faith must be understood. Many people ask the question, how do we acquire faith? Because we have been going to church, and at the same time, when things go wrong, we are told you have got to use faith. We have gone to church many days, and we have listened to preachers many times. How come up to now, we have not received faith? And some people confuse between believing I'm being faithful and having faith. Now listen to me. Believing, having faith, and being faithful are not the same. Are not the same. Anybody, even a person that has never believed in Jesus, can be faithful. Even if you have, even, even bargains are too faithful to their bargaining. But that is not the same as having faith. According to the scriptures in Romans 10, 17, the Bible teaches that faith comes by hearing. You have to mark this, it's very important. It comes by hearing. Now, here comes my question. Hearing what? What do you hear? And from which source should you hear? Now, this is very important to help you understand. Many of us that have been to church still don't have faith. Not because we have never heard the word of God. We have heard the word, but we have never heard the word that produces faith. Now, in Romans 10, 17, it says, faith comes by hearing. This is very important. There are so many people that have been to many churches and they have heard. But what have they heard? They have heard about Moses. They have heard about Elijah. They have heard stories about Samson. Now, these are also from the Bible, but they don't generate faith because faith is only generated when you hear a particular message. And that's what the Bible says in Romans 10, 17. And what we hear comes when Christ is being preached. If you don't hear about Christ, you are not going to have faith. So when you hear, what you hear matters. You know, before the coming of Jesus Christ, people used to hear and they used to memorize. They could memorize about Moses. That's why the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3 and verse 23 that before faith came, we were all kept prisoners under the law. People were hearing constantly about the law of Moses. They heard about the stories about the prophets about John the Baptist, about every other person that existed before the coming of Jesus. 
But since now that faith has come, faith comes by Jesus because he is the beginner and the finisher of our faith. It comes by him. What am I saying, child of God? It is not through hearing every word from the scriptures that has capacity to produce faith. Faith can only be produced when you hear about Jesus. It is Jesus that has the capacity, the word about Jesus, the scripture about Jesus, the message about Jesus, that has the capacity to produce faith in a man. Any other message can be memorized. Any other message can be kept in your mind. But I want to tell you this hour, it has no capacity whatsoever to produce faith. And, and therefore, very important is what you hear and from where you hear it. According to Romans chapter 10 and verse 14, it says they cannot believe before they hear. And they cannot hear if they don't have a preacher. And that preacher cannot preach unless he is sent by Christ. That is how faith begins. Somebody must be sent by the same Christ, carrying the same message of this Christ. And when this person presents the message of this Christ, and then somebody can hear, and you can believe. You can believe. That means for faith to come in a man or into a man's heart, there must be a preacher to preach. There must be somebody that speaks about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. This is the ultimate and the only source of faith, but must be spoken. Because this same faith is going to work through speaking. Now, listen to me, child of God. When a preacher has spoken this same word into you, it goes through your ears, the entry point, entry point of faith. Entry point is the here. And the resting point, where it's going to rest to wait conversion, is the heart. And how it will come out, the exit, how it will come out to act, it is through the mouth. That's why the Bible says in, in Romans 10, verse 8, that faith is in your heart and in your mouth, but it enters through the hear. Now, let me tell you, every other word spoken in the church, which is not of Christ, will find a place in our mind. It will become good information. It will become good news. But only the word about Christ will be able to penetrate into our hearts. And after it penetrates to the heart, that's where it will rest, awaiting conversion, conversion into faith. Because the, the scripture does not automatically become faith. It has to be believed. Now, the heart has capacity to filter what comes in. Now, listen to me, child of God. When the message about Christ has been received through the hearer, it, the heart has capacity to filter what must remain in the mind and what must proceed to the heart. Now, even the message you hear about Christ is not all of it that will have access to your heart. The, the only message that can have access to your heart is that which you are able to believe. Believe here means a message that you are able to have strong conviction that this is exactly what God can do. That is, what you believe is something that you have had conviction. You are convicted to be convicted. You are convicted that this is true. Now, after you have been convicted, then that message which you have been convicted about concerning Christ is the only one that limits itself into your heart. That is why there are many people that you can hear about Jesus Christ, but you will realize later that their faith differs from one person to another. No wonder the Bible says in Romans chapter 12, verse 3, 
that everyone should measure himself according to the quantity, according to the measure of faith that they have received. Now, the hear will listen to any message, but the heart will filter and will determine which kind of message will be permitted to rest in the heart, which eventually will meet with the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit will anoint this word. The only word that can be anointed by the Holy Spirit is the word which finds access into the heart. Now, after the Holy Spirit in the heart anoints this word, then when the same word will come out of your mouth, it will, be, it will come out as power and authority, ready to create, to produce, and to modify. Now listen to me. The heart of a man, the heart of a man has certain capacities and capabilities that it can only permit that which must penetrate and have a place in it. Now, after this word has got into the heart, there it will meet with the Holy Spirit. Not, let me tell you, if a man does not have the Holy Spirit, you don't expect any miracle. Such kind of a man carries what we call dead faith. Because it is the Holy Spirit that activates your faith to work, activates the faith to work. It is the Holy Spirit that will make your, the, 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 the message in your heart, which we now call faith, to be able to produce. Because faith is supposed to produce. That's the work of faith. Because the Bible says, if you have faith, you can do. If you have faith, you can say. Now, the heart allows that message about Jesus that you have received into yourself. And then it meets with the Holy Spirit. The, what the Holy Spirit will do, it will, the Holy Spirit will anoint the word in the heart. This, all this kind of business happens in the heart. So the Holy Spirit will anoint the word in, in your heart and empower the word. So when this kind of word will come out of your mouth, it will come out as power or as some kind of force that has the capability and the capacity to produce miracles. So it is, it is in the heart where the scripture about Jesus or the message about Jesus is converted into becoming faith through the anointing. Because in the absence of the anointing, the word cannot become faith. So it is in the heart where the received word, you had the word, you received it, now it is in the heart where this word will receive or will undergo conversion through the anointing to become faith. Now this is the same faith which you will speak through the mouth and it will create. Somebody can speak in the name of Jesus and nothing happens. And another one can speak in the name of Jesus and a miracle happens. The difference between the two, one has memorized the name of Jesus in the mind but another one has been convicted and has believed. And the name of Jesus has had a place in this man's heart, has undergone conversion through the anointing. Now that name is coming out as power. That's what we call faith. The scripture or the word of, about Jesus. The scripture or the word about Jesus receives power in the heart. When this scripture about Jesus, the message about Jesus has been received by a man and it, it, the man has been convicted and has believed. This kind of message gets into the heart and it is in the heart where the, the message is converted and when it will come out of the mouth of a believer, it has gained authority from the anointing. The Holy Spirit is the power behind the conversion of the word into faith, which eventually becomes miracles, or it comes out to produce miracles, to produce the references, to command the enemy out of your life. It is the Holy Spirit in your heart that receives the word and converts the word into power. So the same word you received, 
When the same word has come into contact with the anointing, it does not come out as the same word. Yes, it is the same word, but it will come out with authority. When this word comes into your heart, it does not come with authority. But when it has come into contact with the Holy Spirit, it comes out as authority. So you can, you can receive the name Jesus Christ through your ear and then believe it in your heart. When this same name that you are receiving comes out of your mouth, it will now dismantle the demons because it has already come into contact with the anointing. Now it's coming out as authority. So I receive by hearing the name of Jesus, then I am convicted, then when I rise to say, it comes out as authority. That's why Jesus said in Matthew 21, 21, if you believe, you will say to the mountain, you will say, now what do you believe? Jesus. How do you believe? By hearing. Now when you hear, there's no miracle that is happening. But when you begin speaking, miracles begin happening. Because what you had got into the heart where there is the activity of conversion takes place. Now in the heart, the same word came into contact with the anointing. It has been converted into power, but it must come out of your mouth. The same, same word, but now packaged and packed with authority. Faith is just the spoken words that come through the mouth. It's just spoken words that come through the mouth in a form of invisible power or force that is able to create, convert, and produce. The responses to faith are determined by the level of conviction. Now, the more you are convicted and, 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 and believe, the extent to which you can believe determines the extent to which you can achieve. When you are walking in the work of faith, the much you are able to believe and you are able to say is the much you can see happening. Otherwise, there will be nothing happening. But I want to em emphasize this. F while faith comes through hearing, you must be very careful on what you hear and from where you hear it. Because the Bible says they cannot preach unless they are sent. And what we hear comes from the preaching of Christ, not any other man. I want to tell you, child of God, that this, all these men you keep mentioning, even in your prayer, they existed before Christ, but there was no faith. But when Christ came, faith came. And now this same faith is what you're going to use in prayer. It's what, what you're going to use in, in living, because the Bible says the just shall live by faith. Is what you're going to use to attain whatever you want in, on, on earth. And therefore, you must concentrate yourself with the, the message about Christ, which is always foolishness unto many people. But unto us, it is God's power unto salvation. God bless you. Until next time.